Hi everyone, my name's James Ivey from McDSP. In this short video series, I'm gonna show you how I've mixed a track using the amazing McDSP APB system. I have an APB-8 and its big brother, the APB-16 here, to give me a total of 24 channels of APB processing. Or, to think of it another way, 24 beautiful analog hardware units, a bit like I have on the other side of me. However, the analog processing in the APBs is fully configurable, automatable and 100% recallable with your session, and not a China Graph pencil or notepad in sight. The track I'm going to be working on is a cover of a classic rock track and features drums, bass, acoustic and electric guitars and vocal. And you're all expecting me to start with the drums. Well, not this time. Let's start by taking a look and a listen to the bass track and see how we can improve it with some lovely APB processing. The bass tone is good, but it's all attack. The notes dip quite soon after the finger has left the string. Now, we know we can use a dynamics processor like a compressor or a limiter to even out the level of the part and also make sure that any low notes are not louder than the others, which is often an issue, especially with bass and a five string like this one. I'm going to add the C673A compressor to this track to both warm things up a bit and even out the dynamics in both the playing and the lowest notes. The C673A, as the name kind of infers, is roughly based on a Fairchild 670 and was one of the first plugins that Colin and the team at McDSP developed for the APB platform. As you can see, we have the threshold, time constant and output or makeup gain controls, we have our visual monitor controls so that we can view the input, the output, or the gain reduction. We have a side chain or key input allowing us to trigger the compressor from an external source. We can listen to the input or the output signal of the compressor. And we have all the other controls we've come to know and love with plugins like bypass, automation options, and saving and recall of presets. Now I don't want to slam the bass, but I do want to take control and even it out a bit. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so we're adjusting what looks like a plugin, but that plugin is actually controlling real life analog circuits inside the APB hardware. So we've not just done a great job of making a plugin that emulates the analog sound. What you're hearing is analog processing. The same as if I had a real life Fairchild 670 costing $15,000 here next to me. Oh, and by the way, you can't sample accurately automate and recall your sessions with a real 670. And also, by the way, we potentially have 24 of them in here. So let's drive a little harder and get some grit and real analog saturation into this bass part, because I think bass always sounds and fits a bit better into a rock mix with a little bit of aggression.
Love it. So next, let's take a listen to the acoustic guitar. It's quite a simple part, not too flash, but it's the right part for the track. Some nice open sounding chords that complement the vocal and the lead guitar. Remember, 90% of your mix is in the arrangement. A difficult track to mix is often due to a poor arrangement. Anyway, I digress. I want to make the part brighter and bring out the shine of the high strings. So let's use the L18 limiter as it's designed to be very clean and not saturate or distort your audio. We have a main input gain to allow us to drive the compressor harder or more gently, a knee control to change the shape of the compressor's attack, and a peak control to allow us to tame the output. Below this, we have a release control with an automatic release option, and we also have the rather lovely color control, spelt wrongly by the way, which adds just a little sweetening EQ, which I think is perfect for shaping the acoustic guitar part. So let's dial in the L18. Can you hear how the colour is just helping to lift the acoustic guitar part so I don't have to turn it up to have it just poke through the track? In the next video we're going to take a look at mixing the lead guitar part and the vocals using only McDSP APB plugins. So I hope you enjoyed that. My name's James Ivey from McDSP and I'll see you again very soon. Don't believe a word The words are so easily spoken